everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Dawn with Candy Cane Ridge today I'm going to be walking you through how to make this maple leaf quilt block that goes great with your home porch quilt perfect for not only October but November too stick around we've got everything laid out here based on our pattern and I'm just using my little quilt alphabet tiles they're actually free right now on my website as a free download so jump over and you can grab those right now so first we're going to work on making the stem and using our fabric a square let me move this over. And a fabric E square. I'm going to draw a line on the back of both of our fabric E squares. just on the diagonal. And I like to start drawing from the center out because otherwise sometimes it just kind of bunches up at the end. So we're going to take our A square and I'm going to start on this bottom corner and I'm just going to line this up and I'm going to stitch directly on this line. Then we're going to fold this up and I'm going to take this square and we're going to stitch along this line fold over we're going to make sure everything's squared up and then we're going to trim it i'll be right back if you've watched my channel for any length of time you kind of know that i'm not really a pinner so instead of having to pin this down i'm just going to use a glue stick or just some plain old Elmer's glue. Because we're actually going to cut this off. Just gonna put just enough to Hold it down. You can reposition this. And it's all gonna be cut off anyway. I'm not gonna glue this one down until after I have stitched right here. All right, so there we have that stitched. I'm gonna fold this up. Make sure that that's going to lay over. And then I'm going to come in. Now this is my stem. And if it doesn't line up absolutely exactly, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so now we've got both of our little sides on there. See, there's our little stem. So now I'm going to take my ruler 
and I'm gonna trim that off. I'm gonna flip around to this side. And trim that off. I'm gonna take this to the iron and I'm gonna press this down. So I've got this all pressed right here. I'm just gonna put it under my clapper and just let that sit till I get ready to use it. I'm sorry if my voice keeps going in and out. I've been kind of under the weather for a while. We're gonna take our fabric C and our fabric D squares. And on our fabric D squares, we're going to, to draw a line on the diagonal on both of these. And we're going to make our half square triangles for our actual leaf. I'm just gonna match these up and we're going to stitch down both sides of this line a quarter of an inch away from this drawn line. Now, before we stitched on the line, this time we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch away from the line. So if you have any adjustments on your machine, don't forget to do that. So now we're just going to take and we're going to trim these apart on the drawn line. You can use your rotary cutter, uh-oh, or you can use a pair of scissors. I'm gonna take these to, this, to the iron and we're going to press them towards the brown and then we're going to square them up. All right, I've got three of them squared up and let me do this last one. Put those underneath there. I don't know if you can tell, but my surface today is kind of a little wobbly. Underneath here, I have a special project that I'm working on. It's gonna be several more weeks before I actually am finished with it. So I'm anxious to get it finished to show y'all what it is but it's a special surprise for somebody. So we're just gonna leave it at that. So now we're going to lay everything out. Let me bring this back. I'm gonna move these off. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see them in the camera or not. But in, just gonna lay out all my squares according to 
my pattern And that's it. These are our side strips. This is our border. This is our top and bottom border. And we're just gonna stitch this together just like a nine patch. We'll be right back. All right, so here's our leaf block. Now, all we've got to do, I've stitched it all together just like a nine patch. My inside seams, I press to the outside. My inside seams, I press to the inside and to the outside. Gave it a good press. I had one little stitch that, that overlapped right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. So now, we're going to add our side borders and our top and bottom. All right, there we have our maple leaf quilt block. So there's our maple leaf quilt block. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell notification so you'll know when our next video comes out. Thanks for watching.